So hello friends, today I'm going to show you a very very simple repair and it is on this lens. It is a Nikkor 50mm 1.4 AI. And then what I'm going to show you is how to open this lens to remove uh, the dust or fungus or whatever that might be inside. This one uh, you probably cannot see it very well on the camera but here there is like a thin, thin film of dust that is a bit annoying. So what we're going to do is to open the lens. It is going to be really, really, really simple. Then, if you see what I'm doing, I just came here to this position to find this screw here. Then, it's a flat head screw with 1.2 millimeter wide. So, if you have 1.2 millimeter screwdriver, that would be perfect. If you have something smaller, uh, it's going to work, obviously, but you take the risk of maybe damaging a bit the screw head. So, okay, so I got it loose. I don't have to remove it, actually. And then here, I just need to screw this ring here now. Nothing, nothing really complicated yet. So here we are. Then we have this in here, and then we can simply start pulling this block. Well, this one is quite tight, but then and you can find examples where it is less tight. And then here we have the body of the lens, and then here we have the actual optical block that we want to open now to get clean. So, first thing to do is to come here, there is a drop of glue. So let me change the focusing a bit. And then what I'm going to do is to add a drop of isopropyl alcohol to get that glue soft. And then we can proceed with opening the block. And here just put my alcohol then afraid to be generous anyway this thing uh, this um, evaporates in the air quite quickly so if you put too much it's going to evaporate anyway okay so I put the isopropyl alcohol as you saw and then now what we're going to do is to wait uh, probably five minutes so in the meantime I'm going to get the cleaning stuff and then we meet in a few seconds. So we are back. I think the isopropyl alcohol has done his job already. So and now what we need to do is just to force a bit to get this thing moving. What maybe happen to you is that you remove this second ring here. Just let me try to force it. Okay, anyway, you can also remove just this element here, meaning I separated from this uh, mate black to the brilliant black. And then uh, here you get access to this back element here. And then maybe if you have some fungus there, you can open that as well. So here we reach what we want. This is the part where the dust, where the dust is. is so, and now what I'm going to do is just to put my glass in the air, just I can handle it easily. It's not touching the surface because I don't want this. I don't want to get scratches or whatever on my glass because it's ripping the surface. And then here we are, we get the two surfaces we want to clean. We start. I will start with the simple one. I will show it to you. Then uh, this one, the procedure is going to be exactly the same. You only need to be careful to hold this while you're cleaning, not to damage probably the aperture blades. So let's start. First thing, we're going to blow. I think the blowing did 
already a lot of the job so we're going to clean it anyway just for good measure but then this lens looks quite good to me already so I take my optical clean fluid that you know already if you check my videos from time to time if you're new this is the thing I use to clean the lenses good thing it doesn't leave traces and then you can find a link in the description to this probably or something similar but then uh, they work as well so I put this And then next thing I do is I will use a microfiber cloth. Sometimes I use optical cleaning paper, but then here the job is quite quite easy. So I'm not going to bother with the paper, which is for more hard cleanings, I would say. So and then the microfiber cloth. And then the optical cleaning fluid and the combination makes that you will leave no traces into the lens so this is it looks even cleaner than before i mean before blowing so what i'm going to do now is just to do the clean of this part here i'm going to do exactly the same thing as before so no need to show you to do that in detail so and then we'll meet just in a few seconds for reassembling the lens so see you i am back i have now a very clean optical assembly now i can proceed to reassemble the lens and then probably you have already finished with the assembly because it's rather rather simple but let me give you however some tips to make this assembly even easier so first thing here i take the body of the lens and then I come here to F16 that's the first thing and then here obviously on the optical assembly I come I put the diaphragm in the minimal position F16 so they both match but they don't actually done and then I have this small prong which is the one that I'm moving here that needs to go into this fork here and then that's the one connecting to the aperture ring and then we can manage the diaphragm with the ring so and then the thing I have to do obviously is to get this prong here in the middle of this fork and then to do so well it's rather simple but then at the same time I need to get this pin here to match this groove so that's the difficulty of the assembly but then what you can do to make it simpler is you go to the infinity position so you take this ring here that go, goes down all the way and then here you can come easily and get the prong in position and then you get everything to match which is nice and then you get it out a bit and then you get yourself more space to continue with the assembly and then now you just need to wiggle a bit okay not very easy well this the tolerance of this particular lens i have here is rather tight but then as i told you in the beginning you might get other ones which are a bit loose so and then here we get this part working and then that's usually the most difficult part of the assembly which is to get everything working and the first time and then you saw we got it and then here just to finish now we need to get and pay attention to this point here which is the marking or the of the screw of this ring here and then what we need to do is just to get this screw here to match this position when we are screwing the lens again and then to do so I made already a mark here 
and then I just need simply to start unscrewing and then here this is where I need to tighten a bit just to get the screw in the right position so when I'm going to rescrew again I'm not going to force so it gets into the right position because otherwise if you do it in a different position it's going to force a bit it's going to deform the thread and then obviously you will have some difficulties descrewing this thing the next time you're going to get your lens clean so now we have a super nice and clean lens and this is all I wanted to show you today. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Eh?